Hey guys, I wanted to do a review for a movie I just checked out last night, and uh, I felt compelled to review it because I really enjoyed it. And that's Doom Asylum, put out by Arrow. Uh, I think it was earlier this year they put this out. Um, you know, it's a really short movie. It's only 79 minutes. And uh, I think this was really little known. I don't think a whole lot of people knew about this. But, um, yeah, this is a really goofy, like, almost really stupid slasher. Um, but it's almost, I think it's meant to be a comedy. It's sort of like a horror comedy, but it's it's a really bizarre out there movie. Like, uh, it starts off this couple, they're just going, they're at the, you find out later what they're actually doing, but they're driving and they get in this car accident and this dude's wife ends up dying in the car accident and he ends up going to this uh, asylum and ends up pretty much living there and then it flash forwards 10 years later and uh, this group of teenagers are actually going to this uh, asylum for whatever reason I don't know, but they pretty much go there just to hang out, like bathe in the sun or whatever, and there's this weird like girl punk noise band there kind of performing and practicing and stuff and uh you know they end up having trouble with each other and then this dude who was in the beginning they got killed he has this mangled like freddy krueger looking it almost looks like leatherface uh from texas chainsaw massacre 2 and he's basically picking them off one by one with like different drills and saws and whatever was in this asylum and uh he he has these really terrible one-liners after every kill like, he'll kill somebody, he'll say some stupid-ass one-liner that really either doesn't make sense or it's just so unfunny that it is almost funny of just how stupid it was. And then he'll do this, like, really annoying laugh, but there's a there's some kind of charm about it that is just there. Like, the stuff he does is annoying, but you still like it just because of how cheesy it is. And the whole, you know, uh, asylum's all spray-painted and stuff, and you could tell it was the same people that spray-painted all this stuff all over. I think the name Metallica is spray painted on this building in like every room and there's just stuff like that and uh, yeah and it's really short it goes by quick the characters are stupid it's probably the most colorful horror movie I've ever seen like the whole movie takes place during the daytime and everyone's in these crazy neon bright colors and it's just it almost feels like like it takes place on like Sesame Street or something and there's just this psycho murdering everybody uh, now the effects, there's some that look really good, but there's a lot of effects that just look super rubbery. And, uh, but it, like I said, it adds to the charm. I really dug the dude's mask. You could tell it's a rubber mask, but it works for it. And there's some scenes where, like, you can see the gloves and all that, and that you know, you're not supposed to see. But, it, like, it just adds to the whole thing. Um, I also want to point out that there's a really kind of badass scene in it where he's cutting off, the, where the killer's, like, cutting off this dude's toes one by one, doing like, oh, this piggy went to the market, and he'll chop off the toe and everything. And it was a pretty badass scene. And uh, there's one actress, I don't remember her name, but she was in Sex and the City. Uh, I never watched that show, but Kristen Davis. Um, yeah, I guess because I, I was watching the comment, or I was listening to the commentary, too. Um, I watched this again with uh, The Stereo Continues, which I'll get into. But yeah, they said that this actress, and I had seen her before, she was known for Sex and the City, but... Uh, this was her first movie. But yeah, this is just a fun turn-your-brain-off slasher. Like, if you want to beef out your slasher section in your collection, you can't go wrong with this uh, title. Now, it's not worth $30 or whatever that uh, Arrow charges when they first come out. But if you could find this for like 20 22 bucks, it's definitely worth it, in my opinion. You get two different versions of the film. Well, not content-wise, but you get the full-frame version and a widescreen version, and they're both remastered in HD and all that, and they both look good. The full-frame version, believe it or not, actually has more info on the top and bottom. Uh, but the director says the widescreen version is the intended version. You did shoot it for, like, a theatrical thing, so it, it's one of those things. If you want to see more of the picture, you go with the full frame, but if you want to see it as the director intended you to see it, you see it in the widescreen version. Um... You get a brand new audio commentary with the screenwriter, brand new audio commentary with the stereo continues, which is personally why I got it, because I like their commentaries. I like their commentary for Don't Go in the Woods Alone, and they're just a cool, I think it's cool that that podcast does commentaries for these discs. Uh, Tina's Terra, brand new interview with one of the actresses, movie Madhouse, a brand new interview with the director of photography, 
a brand new interview with special makeup effects creator, uh, archival interviews, and a reversible sleeve. So, yeah, there is a lot of uh, special features on this, and this Blu-ray looks stunning. Like, like I said, the whole movie takes place during the day. The colors really popped. The blacks were deep. There was some grain in it because it is an old, low, low budget movie. But yeah, this is definitely a, a treat for me because. I had never heard of this, and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I really like that cover, too. I'll show you real quick the uh, reversible. That's the uh, reverse cover there. I personally like the original better. Um, but yeah, this is definitely worth a pickup. Like I said, if you just want an unknown slasher to beef up your collection, you cannot go wrong with this. But uh, I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.